lovely sunshines. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. I am so glad you're here. I have a lap full of boxes. They are bubblegum pink and so pretty from the Journal Junk Box. This top one is actually something new that they just launched and I found out another item that they are doing online. I got a little sneaky peek of what's happening in December. So, so good. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get it started, huh? Let's get it started in here. And as we do, if you like what you see, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't always break into song. I know it's a little cringy, but every once in a while, I just have to do it. If that song is now stuck in your head, let me know in the comments below. Now, let's talk about Journal Junk Box for a minute. If you're unfamiliar with this company, they do all kinds of all different price points, boxes that have a little bit of office supplies, a little bit of journaling supplies, some notebooks, some pens, some washi tape, all the really good stuff. And there's a couple of ways you can subscribe. Before we talk about the ways you can subscribe though, I can't wait for this one that's on top. It's actually a mystery box that they brought out. Now, I did not realize this, but Journal Junk Box has their subscription box site, but they also have a separate website that's a shop for additional scrapbooking, journaling, notebook type of things. And they have brought out mystery boxes. Now this particular mystery box was the October mystery box and it is sold out. However, I think it's going to become a monthly item. They're going to be limited edition. So if you watch my social media, when I see the uh, November one launch, if you want one, because you've seen this one, <laughs> then you can go over and grab it. So apparently this one's $29.99 and you're gonna get 10 journaling stationary lifestyle items inside. So we're just gonna give this a go since it's brand new. Thank you to them for sending it over. They did ask me if I wanted to show it and I was like, a mystery box, bring it on. Okay, so it came in this cute little bubble mailer and there's quite a bit in here. This particular little plastic wrap thing has lots in it. There is a card here that's just their journal junk box card that says thank you. So because it's a mystery box, I guess everybody's going to get something different. Oh, wow. Okay, first of all, we got a whole paper pad. If you know me, you know I love these paper pads. You can use them in um, junk journaling if you're a junk journaler, a scrapbooker, anything that you want. If you are a journaler, these would be great too. I'm trying to pull the paper apart. So it's all kinds of these, look at that, beautiful papers. There's some butterflies, there's floral. Oh, okay, so this actually has six double-sided designs. That's really pretty. So you can kind of see both of the designs on here. And then we've got this one, kind of vintage. If you do card making, these would be beautiful. There's a paper. So a whole pack of different, I love that polka dot. That is so pretty. This is very, very me. Wouldn't that be pretty for Valentine's Day cards? So would this guy. Anyway, so that was our first item. These packs are usually a little bit pricey, so that's cool. We got a, a sticker pack from Heidi Swap, and look at these gorgeous vintage cameras and the flowers. And the hearts, I'm looking ahead toward Valentine's Day. I think this is going to be a great card making kit. I love the arrow there. All right. And then inside is this guy. So already that's two items. Man, she even packages it adorably. So if you're looking for just a really quick um, stationary lover gift idea, this is pretty, oh, and this, again, I feel it goes with the Valentine theme. It's little lovebirds. Aren't those cute? There's some tulips there. Is that a sunshine? No, it's just a little flower. I love the lovebirds. All right, next we have this little pin. Look at the bow on top. Isn't that adorable? So cute. I love pins like this because my husband is famous for ransacking my drawer. I had just organized it the other day. I opened it and it was just torn apart. I think he was looking for a pin that didn't have this. I need to make him his own drawer. Isn't that cute? I could take this to work too and then everybody would leave my pin alone. Can you tell a little territorial about this? <laughs> All right, here's another item. It says thank you and it's wrapped in the cutest little vintage paper. 
Oh my goodness. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is another little, it's by Parasol, like a little paper pad again. These are again, good for journaling boxes and scrapbooking. But again, if you are a junk journaler, look at the cute deer. Oh my goodness, and it's lined. These are great for planners too. I will take something like this and make my meal plan for the week and then I'll just tape it into my planner, which helps. This is a pretty little paper pack. Look at that one. I like that for journaling too. So we got that. All right, we have some butterfly stickers, which again are kind of springy. Oh, wow, Christmas. We got some Christmas stickers, how timely. Some of these I'm gonna save, but that would be cute on a gift tag on a gift. I'm into these um, mystery boxes. Wow. Okay, we have a little uh, floral stamp kit. So you just, these are the stamps that you put into the, the ink pad. And this is what they look like. All right, then we have, I think this is like vellum. It says die cut cardstock and acetate. So it's like tons and tons. You can see all of the little pieces. Look at that peacock. All of these are individual pieces. I love that bird cage. So that's in here. And then we have one more item. It kind of looks like a folder. What could this be? And it's just a plain, this would be a gorgeous junk journal. If you're into junk journaling, this would be a great regular journal because you can take your little papers that you got, those little tiny ones and put them in here. You could make lists, all kinds of stuff. Gorgeous. So that was the mystery box. Again, those are sold out. However, when I see the November one launch, I will let you know on my community tab, on my Facebook um, group and in my Instagram story. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about their subscription boxes. They have three different boxes. This is their journal junk sack. It's $27.99. Now keep in mind with this particular subscription, if you get a six or 12 month subscription, like an annual membership, the price goes down considerably on this one, but month to month, it's $27.99. They have what I call the big mammer jammer. This one is $47.99. There's a ton in here. I mean, a crazy amount. Now, if you want to do a bundle, there will be similar things, but different, different prints in here. The bundle is $71.95, and she does discount the shipping if you get the bundle. And then last but not least, she has a creative kids box. This is done so, so well. I don't show many kids boxes on my channel, but I think this is worth the share. And it looks like this. This one is $37.99. Now, hear me out right now i looked on her website and if you subscribe to journal junk box in november whether you get the sack the bigger box or the kids box you're going to get your first box for 50 percent off if you get a six or 12 month subscription now if you just want to go month to month i do have a discount code for 15 percent off which i will also link in the description as always if you can't find the description go all the way to the very top of the comments and I will have everything pinned below. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sack real quick and see what's inside. I just think it's so fun the way she packages it. I didn't open it. There we go. But isn't that fun in your mailbox? And this is how it always comes. Everything is wrapped in bubble wrap so it stays nice and tidy in its little mailer. Okay, I don't want to drop anything. The first thing that I see in here is this gorgeous pen. Is it Constellations? Ah, I think it's more confetti. Can you see where I got the Constellations? Oh, it kind of looks like a starry night. I love the gold touches to it. All right, we have their just basic card that says thanks for ordering. Now, one thing I love that she does, if you're trying to start journaling, I have a friend who has been told that it would help her if she journals and she's like, I don't even know where to start. So these are really great prompts that she gives you every single month that you're able to use. And then inside we have, oh, cute. This is by Sips Drinkware. It's a coffee bag clip, although you could use it for chips or whatever you want. But my husband, a lot of times will do the ground coffee. So this will be perfect for him. It says the good stuff. 
<laughs> Isn't that cute? You could use this for a bunch of file folders or whatever. You can use clips for whatever you want, but I think it's cute that it says coffee clip. We have a little card that says, I'm grateful to call you a friend. So if you have a friend who's having a hard time, you can just put this in a little card and send them a note of encouragement. All right. Oh, look at the stencil. Okay, this is a winter stencil. So if you're a card maker, how fun would this be? It says winter. It's got trees. It's got the snowflakes. Love. It's got like little garland. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. Then we have a little sticker pack. Now this is great for planners. It says believe, marry, love. And then it's got tons of of little holiday words like joy, peace, love, joyful, merry, Christmas, happiness, unforgettable. And then look at all the little confetti stickers. These are all individual little stickers. Wouldn't that be fun to just do like a little wrapped gift in just brown paper or just a plain color and then just sprinkle these all around the gift with a simple little ribbon adorable and then the last thing in here is thoughts and notes we've got this gorgeous poinsettia pattern this is my favorite notebook that they do they do them a couple of times a year i think they hand make them in the journal junk box website or warehouse and i love them they're just spiral bound I love the lines. They're a little bit wider ruled. I love the paper. It's a nice thickness. It's my perfect list making or if I'm trying to figure out videos for the month, this is the best notebook that they do. I love it. And you can see it says journal junk box on the back. I'm so happy to see these back because I haven't seen these for a few months now. Love. Okay, so that was everything in the sack. $27.99. If you want to get it, make sure you use that code. Um, that I'll have down below to get 50% off if you get the six or the 12 month or my 15% if you want to do the month to month. Now here's what I call the big mamma jamma. Looks like this. Now she did tell me that she changed her boxes. They used to be printed. She said just for supply chain issues and for just recycling, she's gone to the plain white box. And I have to say, I appreciate that because those boxes, those custom made boxes are pretty darn expensive. I'm trying to figure out how to open this. These always stump me for some reason. Hold on. I think it just comes up at the top. There we go. All right. So we have this with the classic polka dot tissue. These are our November journal prompts, and these are all called festive footnotes. So they're more festive journal prompts. I'll give you one example. If you could gift the world one thing this season, what would it be? And then here's everything in the box. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items in this box. Again, we have the journal prompt bookmark as well as the thank you card. And then it says, hey, journal babe, right here. All right. Oh, look how cute this first item is. Now, this particular item, this particular box, we will get a few lifestyle items in occasionally and look, it's a double. So it's got a zipper here and a zipper here and it says cozy. That is really, really cute. So you've got that there for like your little safety pins or anything that's little if you carry extra contacts or whatever and then you can do your makeup, your chapstick, whatever. In the top, the color on that is so pretty. I love that. Got a little thread there. So that's what that looks like. Very useful, easy. And if you didn't need this, it would be so easy to get a re-gift. You could put like a little gift card in the front and maybe a little, you know, chapstick pack or something fun in the inside. Okay, the next thing we have is mittens and mistletoe. And this is gift tags. How timely. There's all of these different ones that we're gonna get. And I like the pastel. Last year I went rogue and I did pastel gift wrap and everybody kind of went gaga for it. It's fun to do the unexpected every once in a while, isn't it? I gotta find my, I can't get these um, little seals open. Let me find my scissors here and cut it. Well, these are so cute. So there's little gift tags. Like this is a set of four, look at the chipmunk the Christmas tree. What does this one say? Um, meet me under the mistletoe. 
This one is a big one. It says warm wishes to you and yours. And then on the back, it says to and from. So great little gift tags. I love that she sent these. Here's four more. This is my favorite with the Cardinal. So it's a whole pack of gift tags. All right, the next thing we have in here is called Evergreen and Holly. These are all embellishments. How fun. So each individual item in here is a different embellishment. So if you're card making, these will be great. Again, junk journaling. I will use these in my planner. This one says, Santa, please stop here. You could do this in a photo collage. Oh, wow. There's gift tags in here too that you can use. How many 50 pieces in here? All right, the next thing we have is a whole pin set. I have several of these pins with the little fake diamonds on the top. I love them. They always write really beautifully. So we have a gold. This one's kind of also confetti, but a little bit different from the one we got in the sack. And then a stripe. This one's my favorite. All right, so you can um, leave these. This would be great. I don't know about you, but when I'm wrapping gifts and I'm trying to do the tags, I always misplace the pin amongst all the wrapping and bows. So this would be a great set to just throw in your gift wrapping um, cabinet or whatever. Ooh, this is a little coffee cup and it says, baby, it's cold outside. And I like how she tied this pin in with our cup. So it's a tumbler. It also has a to and from, and it says, oh, I didn't even notice this is a twofer. It says travel mug with notepad. So on the bottom, you have a little post-it note pad here that just says notes. Isn't that cute? So they're just plain white notes, but they give a little festive outer um, print. How fun is that? I'm gonna stick this here. Okay, this is a little baking planner. <gasps> How fun. Are you a big baker for Christmas? It says bake and be glad. And on the back, there's a Bible verse. I love that. It says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be, rejoice and be glad in it. How clever. So this is a shopping list. And then this is what you need to buy. And it's a whole pad. I like that. So this is your baking list, and then this is the rest of your grocery list. Easy to just throw in your bag, and you're good to go. Wow, this may be my favorite journal junk box we've had so far. I just really like it. And then the last thing in here is a journal. It says cozy, and remember the little bag that we got said cozy on it? It's got a little flecked pattern on the front, and on the back it's this really pretty, I call this color grayish sort of plaid. It's got a raw binding and then the pages are a little bit yellowy. It's lined and it says be in love with your life every minute of it. And it says that, on, oh no, it doesn't say that on every page. Be bold, be creative, be your best, live simply, laugh often, love deeply. So just some fun little sayings on the pages. So whether you use these as a notebook like I do or use them for a journal, these are absolutely handy to have. That was a good journal junk box. Let's take a look at the last one. This is the Creative Kids box. This is a box that's supposed to help kids jumpstart their way into journaling and writing. And I think if you get kids writing early and make it fun, then when they're having to write those book reports and papers, it's not so scary to them. And they do it in such a fun way. The owner of this box has got two daughters, um, and so she really knows what kids like. I have not seen a bad one of these boxes. So it looks like that. When you open it up, let's see what the theme is. It says, Jot and Jingle for November. They give kids journaling tips. And then they have all the items in here. They usually give a little help with the parent. Do you hear my printer? It's going rogue there. Um, so they usually give you a little um, bit of tips and tricks as a parent for what's in the box and how you can use these. Um, and it says like, encourage your child to journal. Journal with your child, set aside some time, encourage daily journaling, celebrate your child's progress. And also, if kids are having a hard time, 
I think being able to identify how they're feeling and write it down is very, is very helpful to them. She always says this, which I think is great too. It talks about different emotions so they can identify how they're feeling, which is beautiful. A little bookmark there. And then when you open it, it says creative kids write. All right. So we have some little pink styrofoam and on the top we have some oh my gosh my daughter loved this stuff this is a little bit pricey too I have to say this is model magic and it's in the color red kind of looks pinky on the camera but it'll be great to make lots of Christmas crafting projects right all right so we have that what does it say about that guy let me see it says, model magic clay, mold your inspirational items into three-dimensional creations. All right. Then we have a little home for Christmas. <gasps> oh, these are like, oh, what do you call these? I can't remember what you used to call these, but you would, you, you have the mold and then you have the beads. Y'all, I, I know. Can you see it on the tip of my tongue? We had these when we were little and they were so fun. You pour the little beads into the mold and then you bake it. Shrinky dinks? Is that what it is? That's what I'm thinking, but I don't think this is a shrinky dink, perhaps, maybe. How cool. My kids love fun crafts like this, and these are so good to have in your back pocket when you're trying to get Christmas, you know, the table set or your baking done and you need to keep them occupied. How fun is that? So cute. Okay, we have some stickers here. Aren't those fun? There's like a little house and a teacup pot. There's a little skunk with a red ribbon. The bear is really cute. The cardinal. Lots of little stickers. Okay, we have you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Some Grinch pencils. How fun to be able to take these to school and use them. They just make Christmas time more fun. But you can also journal with your Grinch pencils. All right, what else is in here? Look at these fun pins. We have a Christmas tree, a reindeer, and a little... Is he a... He's like a snowman moose. <laughs> he's got the body of a snowman, but the head of a moose. He's funny. They're cute little pins that they can also use to journal. And then we have one more item in here. Now, sometimes she will do, oh no, there's two more items in here. Sometimes she will do a snack. I don't see a snack in this particular box. We have a notebook and it's got llamas. Cause I mean, when I think of Christmas, I think of llamas, how fun. <laughs> we got lollipops and reindeer. He's so cute. He's got a little Christmas, or is that an alpaca? Might be an alpaca. How fun. Oh, again, this is one of those things that is just meant to keep your kids busy, but also fun. So you've got a place to sketch. You've got a place to imagine so they can write a little story and draw a little picture. They can take their stickers and add it to the picture to embellish. They can take their 3D modeling clay and model if they made their story about a, a reindeer or a Christmas yo-yo or whatever. How cute is that? We've got draw with the little dots. My kids love to play that dot game when they were little. There's a notes. So lots of like things that they're able to do in the little alpaca slash llama is on the pages there. And then last but not least, they have some washi tape. And this just has fun Christmas hot chocolate drinks. Like that's a little uh, snowman mug with some marshmallows coming out of the top. So fun there too. Gosh, I need to paint my nails. Sorry about that. All right. So that was that box. And then lastly, they have one more thing on the website that I just saw. It is called the Prompt Nest Kit. It's all digital. It's $4.99 a month. And online, you can kind of preview the, the December uh, Prompt Nest Pack. It has 30 journaling prompts. It has journal and self-care tips, as well as tons of free printables. $4.99. So go over there and check it out. That certainly is pretty budget friendly. And sometimes we do get a lot of paper. I'm a paper and pen girl, but some people are very digital. I don't know if she has things like 
maybe wallpaper for your phone or just things that make the season bright. So go over there and check that out for $4.99 a month. It certainly is uh, pretty inexpensive. Again, you can use my discount code for 15% off or if you want any of the subscription boxes and you want to get a six or 12 month subscription, you can use the code down below for 50% off your first box. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'm going to see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.